How's it going? I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hathrath. Ben Hathrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page. And when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page. Erase a word here and there. And your whole outlook changes. I always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. And you're a spy? Close. I am now, I suppose. But that's not how I started. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. You seem like the type who enjoys a good fight. There's a good fight, and there's finding out who put rat poison in the bread and killed a bunch of children. I hunted down a lot of rebels. Lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashar. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. Not many people would have the courage to do that. I thought about letting some rebel kill me, but I couldn't give any of those bastards the satisfaction. The Ben Hasrath ordered me to go to Orlay, ostensibly as a Talvashad, and work undercover. That's how I ended up here. That's, uh... Damn. You did ask. Anyway, nice talking with you. Of course. Nightingale's eyes with secret lies in their words. Raised tears they cry. Inquisitor. I hope I can help somehow. Maybe cleaning? Oh, Inquisitor. I, um, I joined. Sutherland, your worship. I saw some bandits, so I came to warn people. I'll let your warriors know and then stay out of the way. Good to see you. Hey, you. I have an inquisitor favor to ask. Just a little thing, really. A little march around for some of your people. It's nothing for you, right? All right, let's hear what you've got. Jump right in, huh? I like that. It's a red Jenny thing. I got a tip that some noble stiffs are arguing over Vershell. Land swap. They're getting little people beat up. So I need you to go to your big table and send some people to walk through town. Just walk through? Just walk through. Be easy, right? Was this a tip from one of your friends? Not a Jenny. Just normal, angry people getting sick of being in the middle. I don't usually hear about things this far away. But having a friend like you is like getting really big ears. Bigger than normal, I guess, because we both... Never mind. Who's asking for this? I'm asking, because I heard people complaining. See, when nobles fight, it's not them. It's their little people stuck in the middle. It's like a polite war, so no one pays attention. But if you march through, the people up top feel threatened too. Stuff like this is always happening. Good sovereigns to be made if you're one of the few who notice. All right, Sarah. I'll have someone look into it. It's fun, right? Being important without doing a thing. Well, not much of a thing. 
Not everything has to be torn skies and ancient assholes. Every little thing makes a difference somewhere. What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool, like Aunt Eloise's pond. Lips scalded as I sip. Warmth blossoms. First kiss in the barn. What was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills. Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry. Five more minutes. My fault. Can you listen to anyone's mind like you did hers? No, they have to need me. Pain, fear, sadness, guilt, anger, hurt. Things I can fix. Can you do something for her? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die, just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. Cole, stop. Inquisitor, your worship, what are you doing here? Is this man with you? Yes, sorry to trouble you. How do I do it right if I've done it wrong and I can't make her forget? Don't root around inside her head. Treat her like a normal person. Your worship. Is that... do you need something of me? You were sad. Of course I was sad. A man died because I couldn't save him. It wasn't your fault. You could work until you fell over and you still wouldn't save everyone. Thank you for saying that. Excuse me, Your Worship. She's not better. She needs time to work through it. If I'd done it right, it would have worked faster. Then you have time to work through it too. I don't understand. But thank you for trying to help. 